Hello everyone, my name is Marissa Gomez and I'll be presenting this presentation alongside my colleague Rafael Calamari. We're going to venture into four different topics with you today. Number one, we're going to venture into discrete wiring and where it all started. And then we'll move forward to two solutions. One, for small to mid-sized projects and the second one will be for larger projects. And then last but not least, we're gonna go into what Merlectronic offers that is more than the customer expects. So starting off at the discrete wiring point of view, in this example that I have right here, I'm gonna dive into the number of terminating points. You have here 16 times three digital inputs and 16 digital outputs. Each of those giving you 18 terminations going into the junction box and coming out of the junction box, leading you right to the main cabinet, giving you a total of 72 terminations. Now, from this point, if we were to calculate the amount of time that it will take to finish this entire installation, we're gonna do it based on two minutes. So those two minutes involve stripping the wire, labeling, attaching ferrules and whatnot. This will give you a total of 15 and a half hours. Now I'm gonna show you in the next slide, we're gonna go into some more challenges that discrete wiring offers. So going into this first application example with discrete wiring and the wires you see in the middle and the surrounding devices, you can see already that there would be a challenge having to find where a short circuit is or even which wiring or cable belongs to which device here. This can take extra time, especially on the diagnostic standpoint, troubleshooting, commissioning, let's say that you need to, you build the machine in one country and have to bring it to another country, then you would have that extra time for commissioning and having to rewire. And in the second picture, you have an example of a junction box here as well. And of course, if the labeling is not there, there can be even more challenges with that. So we're going to explore as to what other solutions Merlectronic has in mind. Merlectronic's best solution for small to mid-size applications is Impact 67 Pro. The Impact family includes digital and IO-Link master modules. Our digital module offers auto configuration for IO and therefore it reduces its configuration process to just setting its IP address. Now, in addition to the existing impact block with four IO link ports, Morelatronic is proud to announce the new Impact 67 Pro. Impact 67 Pro is our new eight IO link master module with M12 power connection and eight hybrid class A and class B IO link ports. This block is rated for up to 16 amps and can process up to 136 IO signals when combined with one of our new IO link hub. Impact 67 is the ideal IP67 device for connecting signals from discrete IO to thermocouples. And nowadays, even frequency inverters can be connected to an IO link master. This product is a great fit for end of arm tooling. Our compact IO link hubs can be easily mounted on tools, requiring less space and simplifying the wiring. If an application including two changing requires faster response, the digital impact module with quick connect support is up and running in less than 360 milliseconds after reconnecting power. And because our products are all about customer satisfaction, compared to other IO-Link masters, Impact 67 has a unique diagnostic structure for IO-Link devices that simplifies troubleshooting and helps decreasing downtimes. If you have an application with higher IO density, or if you're simply looking for a way to reduce wiring costs, then Cube 67 is the perfect solution for your application. Installed in over 200,000 machines, Cube reduces the remote I.O. wiring to one single cable 
including communication and separated power for sensors and actuators. With over 100 different types of expansion modules available, Cube modules basically fit anywhere and can be mounted close to your I.O. while simplifying your wiring and eliminate junction boxes and I.O. cards. In one single IP address, a Cube station can accommodate up to 128 I.O. link devices or over a thousand digital I.O.s. Expansion modules can be daisy chained up to 16 times and cover an overall area of up to 60 meters. Combined with I.O. link, a cube station can cover an area of 100 meters. Cube's web interface is the only tool you need to configure the system. The web interface is not only a configurator, but it also works as a powerful tool for commissioning and troubleshooting. Okay, since I already spoke about Cube's web interface, Let's talk about some things that make Merlotronic solutions unique. The web interface of our products turn IO link devices configuration into an easy task. With our products, you can import IODD files from any manufacturers and result in configuring the IO link devices in minutes without having to worry about indexes, sub indexes, or hex codes. Not only this, but the same web interface can be used for wiring check and simulations even before your products are connected to a PLC, for example, if you need to teach a distance sensor or test a gripper. Now, Marissa, what else is unique about Merlotronic Solutions? So as previously mentioned by my colleague, Rafael Calamari, our IMPACT, our MBK, and our CUBE IO link modules, they have the ability for you to connect either class A devices or class B. Class A devices would typically be either your sensors or your stack light, anything that has a three pole connection. Now, if it's a device that has a five pole connection, it's likely that it would be a class B. So in this example, we have here a valve manifold. And there's two ways that we can go about it. One way is when we configure the pin two as an output, it will feed off of the output power from this M12L coded. And then you just connect one cable to the class B device. Or you can introduce an external T coupler and you can feed the output power from a separate output power source. And last but not least, another thing that we provide our customers is a free architectural layout that is customized to your application. Here's an example that we have here, and we're able to convert it to an ePlan file or to a CAD file. So it's easy for you to implement that with your drawings. Now, Merle Electronic, we have an extensive application knowledge, and we've done drawings for many different applications. And if anything that you need, you let us know and we'll be sure to be right there and help you with that. 